All right, we're winding down not only today, but a whole week of trade here. And what a week it has been. Let's go to the board here. And the futures are provided to us by Bar Chart. Corn market on July down 22 and a half now, 652 and a quarter. 648 is the bottom end of that trading range. And it's 648 to 687. What a wide range. December down 11 at 547 and a quarter. We went down and made a 544 and a quarter low here just, uh, just a little bit ago. Let's look at soybeans now. July is up just three quarters at 1584 and three quarters. The new crop November is up three and a quarter cents at 1399 and three quarters. We are now below a $14 level in that new crop soybean. All right, let's uh, look at the Chicago wheat market for July. It's up three and a half cents, 705 after making a, uh, a bottom here of 699 and a half. Uh, the rest of those contracts about uh, two to three cents higher. Over in the Kansas City wheat market, that's where we'll stop next. The July is down two and a half at 655 and a quarter. So the Minneapolis July wheat down one and a quarter at 740. And well, cotton has had a couple of big losses here today so far. And right now, 276 lower on the July. And the December's down 228 as we turn to Brian Hoops here with us, Midwest Market Solutions. All right. Up. Why the weakness? It seems like the deeper we go into uh, the day trade here, Brian, uh, the weaker things are getting. Is there a reason behind that? Yeah, good to talk with you, John. Um, in Foreman's numbers that came out a, a little while ago, certainly putting the pressure on the corn market. You know, basis levels really have not changed much this week, but funds are just unloading on long July positions. They have uh, sold massive amounts yesterday. They're big sellers again today. And uh, the key support here for, for July corn, December corn, occurs at those lows that we put in back at the end of April. So another dime or so lower than where we're currently trading at. <clears throat> we, we're just, uh, you know, finding a lot of fun selling pressure, but this Informa numbers that they come out, they're, they're looking at 96 million acres or so being planted, uh, well above what, what the USDA had said. You know, that's over 3 million more than what the USDA had said and, and what they had said uh, back in uh, in March as well. That's I think, putting some pressure against this corn market. And again, you know, it's just a lot of technical selling combined with the lack of any bullish fundamental inputs this week. Um, we've got a lot of strong demand from China. But other than that, you look at the growing conditions, they're not terrible. Um, a lot of rain south of I-80. It's those areas of, uh, that are already in a drought, like the Dakotas, uh, Minnesota, parts of northern Iowa that are going to miss out on these rains. But uh, at least they have had some rains to kind of get them through until the next rain event. OK, Brian, I tell you what, we'll come back in just a moment. I want to get uh, your thoughts on this livestock market as we go into the just the final few moments of trade there as well. So we'll be back in a moment. Stay with us on Rural America's Most Important Network. Well, Brian Hoops and I were just talking about the amount of acres and what this corn crop is doing or what this corn price is doing here today. Let's go over to the livestock trade now. And the uh, live cattle market, June is down 37 at 115.22. August down 55. October is down 55. And the reason I bring all this up is the feeder cattle market. It's been on both sides of unchanged here today. Now, we show a little bit of strength going into the last little bit of trade here. August up 60. September up 72. The October up 85 at 153.95. Um, let's uh, come back to that. But after first, we need to check the lean hogs. June is down $1.30. July is down $1.05, 109.05. And August is down 80 at 104.92. But back over here in this feeder cattle market, is this market reacting uh, equally to what we're seeing in the corn market? Or do you, should the trade have expected this feeder cattle market to uh, even take off and be even more firm with what we see going on in the corn. Yeah, you know, feeder cattle have been corn market real closely this week, especially. Um, you know, I would think we'd even be a little bit stronger here today, with, given what the July and December corn contracts are doing, because this is, you know, really a blessing for the feeder cattle market. If you got a big break like this, 90 cents this week in December corn, you can lock in though a look much cheaper corn prices than what you could uh, just you know a week ago so fat cattle being down Thursday and into Friday not helping the feeder cattle market out 
you know, the outlook, I think, is for cash is to remain very stout and, and into next week already. Um, so we were surprised that the cattle market is already dropping this much. It's, uh, you know, trading 4 to $5 discount to this week's cash trade. Have we topped out the hog market, do you think? It certainly appears that way. You know, I've been down at least three days now hard in this hog market. You know, we've, we've really priced in, I think, a lot of good news trading above the 105. 5, 108 area, uh, all the way up to 110 this week in, in June, July hogs. That's a lot of premium being put into hog futures, at least for the time being. We, I think we're done enough. We're gonna, we've priced in strong exports, strong grilling season this summer. It's oh. probably a reason to pull it back. Okay, but this this weakness that we're seeing today, does it have anything to do with those, uh, those, those sales that we saw yesterday in that 14,000 metric ton range? Right. It, you know, it was a little bit of disappointment. Um, the ship still pretty decent, so we're shipping things out, but our sales have slowed quite a bit. And that hog market is so dependent upon what we're going to right. sell uh, this year, not only to China, but to, to Mexico and other countries. We're, we're very dependent upon uh, how much we're able to export. Brian, thanks so much. And tonight uh, we'll have you on the Rural Evening News and we'll visit then. Sure appreciate it. Brian Hoops there in Springfield, Missouri. Let's look at these outside markets. We always like to check the uh, Dow just before we wrap up on uh, on these days here on the Market Day Report. June Dow up 364 points at 34,302. Looking at the dollar here, going into the final uh, little bit here of the Market Day Report, 360 lower, 90.37 in crude oil today. It's been on the rebound after a pullback yesterday. We're at 65.30 a barrel, and that is up $1.48. So, Janet, there's, uh, there's how things stand right now.